Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in today's thumbnail. In today's video, I bring you a few of my most recent fragrances in my collection. It's kind of like a little mini collective haul. If you're interested in finding out some of these fragrances that are new to my collection, stay tuned. But if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Moraima. This channel I share some of my passions such as fragrance and self-care, mainly fragrances. I'm so glad you landed on this video. I hope that you get to check out a few videos and if you like our vibe, then please subscribe to my returning subscribers mwah, i hope your year is starting well guys can you believe it is almost valentine's day i'm just perplexed how fast the months are going by anyways some of these fragrances i don't have that many some of them i briefly spoke about them in one of my recent videos and others are i haven't spoken about them yet they're all brand new to my collection and some of them are fragrances that have been on my wish list for a long long time the very first one that i want to speak about i feel a little bit bad speaking about it because it's currently sold out but i did get an email from the company they are restocking so it will be back soon so you will be able to get your hands on it if you haven't had the opportunity and it's raised spirits by the house of navitus parfum like i said i briefly spoke about it on one of my latest videos but i didn't give this fragrance a proper in-depth review where i can tell you a little bit about this fragrance so this is one of the latest release from the house this fragrance, guys, this is my very first Navitus Parfum. I've seen a lot of videos for, I guess, over a year and a half, and I was never really... I don't know why I never jumped into the bandwagon of getting a fragrance from the house, but for some reason, this fragrance just really piqued my interest. This is a beautiful, boozy, spicy fragrance. It has caramel and sugar cane and pimento. And yes, you know, let's talk about the elephant in the room. It's often compared to Minuit et Demi, which you all know it is my ride or die. I absolutely love that fragrance and it is true. Very, very similar. However, this has a, a note of French oak, making this fragrance a little less feminine if one can say that, then Minuit et Demi, I feel that this would be definitely super appealing to our male audience. But I think that, you know, women, we can still definitely wear it. I've been wearing it a lot alone, but as well layered because somehow on my skin, that French oak just like turns a little bit into a cedar note and it just makes me feel a little less feminine, but it's just the sweetness Oh my God. And it has a salted butter accord that is just like, it's like a fudge accord. It's very boozy and it has that rum and the salted caramel fudge and just the pimento. And it's just extremely sexy, very much again, similar to Minuit et Demi, but with that French oak added, giving it a little bit more character, the longevity is very very good far superior in my experience than Minuit et Demi unfortunately for Minuit et Demi because this is definitely a little bit louder however I feel that you can definitely layer both of them if you want to increase the longevity and the projection of Minuit et Demi you can also have layered this with a couple of other fragrances if you feel that it's not sweet enough I mean it's pretty sweet but if you feel that you want to amp up the sweetness you can definitely um, add some of that let me just show you a little bit what the bottle looks like it is a gorgeous ambery shade and i'm going to tell you a little bit on the top notes we have pimento leaves salted butter fudge accord and dark rum on the base on the middle notes we have caramel sugar cane and brown sugar syrup we also have on the base notes cashmere wood french oak tobacco and madagascar vanilla it is just, the sprayer is pretty nice. Oh, very nice. Super well missed. I love it. This is a banger and obviously it seems like everybody likes it because it's sold out. Like I said, it will be back in stock soon. And the price for this fragrance, that's like, that's the crazy thing about this. The fragrance is amazing. The longevity is incredible and the price is just amazing. So to me, it is just a win-win however you see it i am dying to try some of the other latest releases i'm so grateful that this was the first one that i tried from the house and i know that it's going to come back and suck so if you don't have it please give it a try because the price point is amazing and if you like that minuit de mi vibe and you probably don't want to pay that price tag 
definitely give a race spirit a try i absolutely love it and i hope it's not a limited edition i have to find out if it's going to be like a limited edition because this i feel is definitely baka bottle worthy once again race spirit by navitus parfum the next fragrance is another fragrance that I briefly shared on my channel. It was sent to me by Twisted Lily and I'm super, super grateful. It's a fragrance house that I recently discovered and I really wanted to try this one because it felt that out of everything that I have seen from the house, it was one of the ones that was ideal for the winter colder weather because the one I initially got was mainly more for the summertime. But anyways, back to this. This is Ampre Magique by the house of Miss Anzir and and again, like I said, I know that I've already briefly spoken about this fragrance, but I didn't really give it an in-depth review. This is a beautiful amber, spicy, it's sweet, it's just very, very feminine, even though it's a spicy, I mean, the way this bottle looks is just incredible. I absolutely love it. Let's just... It has such a freshness in the opening because it has orange blossom and mandarin orange, so it opens up kind of like inviting and fresh and again like orange blossom but then it starts getting into the ambery it has cardamom it has rose and it has ambergris which is one of my favorite notes and it obviously has vanilla which I absolutely love I feel that this fragrance is ideal for this time of the year when you want to wear something that has a touch of spiciness but it's not 100% deep tobacco leather suede you know saffron you don't want to go down that route you want something that has a little bit of character but at the same time it's still very feminine very inviting and just not necessarily just too dark or too deep Ambre Magique is definitely like where it would I, I see this fragrance shine I absolutely love it the Bulgarian rose you can barely detect it but you do know that there's some sort of floral lingering around in this composition it also has a note of cat catalog or catalog or something like that I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to smell like I don't detect anything additionally I don't detect anything in particular I'm glad that it's a very faint note that is not spoiling, you know, a lot, this beautiful composition. I often find myself, and let me know in the comments below if you feel the same, I often find myself with fragrances or looking at fragrances that have incredible notes. Everything is going down the line really, really well as I'm looking at what's in the fragrance. And then there's this one note just this one note that just mess everything up because for some reason on my skin that is the note that is going to shine whether it is anything that is too alamalic or anything that is like olibanum of labdamum or castorian or anything that is a little bit like too edgy too earthy too soily smelling or too weird again to my taste weird and it's just that is the note that shines and then you have all this array of beautiful additional notes that I'm like oh my god can't we just take that note out so I was a little bit afraid of that particular note because I thought it was going to mess this up but no this is beautiful you can definitely get the bourbon vanilla it's not necessarily a boozy vanilla it's a very light inviting creamy vanilla and the orange blossom is not necessarily if you're not into orange blossom it's not going to spoil your fragrance either it's a beautiful really 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 well blended fragrance very feminine i feel that this leans definitely more in the feminine realm and i just absolutely love it i feel that i am so so happy that it worked out for me once again Ampre Magique by the house of Mise en Cire. the next fragrance is a fragrance that I have not shared here on my channel just yet it is a beautiful fragrance I got a nice decant from my YouTube sister here uh, Sherita if you don't follow her she is the knowledge queen of all new fragrances like she I don't know where she finds all these ideas she comes up with all these fragrances I need to know where like her Google probably works a little bit different than mine anyways this fragrance I absolutely love and it's another amber super seductive fragrance and this is set up by the house of Moresque and I believe this is the secret from the secret collection this is a beautiful greatly priced fragrance it's a beautiful amber it's oh it's so cozy this fragrance is so so good I absolutely love it from the moment I smelled it I was like I need a bottle of this this is powdery balsamic it's vanilla it's ambery it's cozy it's giving you all of the cozy vibes for this time of the year with this weather that we have out there 
Oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. And I love that the sweetness of this fragrance is not overwhelming. It's a very cocooning fragrance. It's a very enveloping fragrance. It's just so sweet and smooth, but not obnoxious. This would totally be a Netflix and chill type of fragrance. Going out with your partner for a walk or going to the movies or just a fragrance that you just want to feel super well cozied up. Like this is sweater weather in a bottle. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's not like the biggest project it doesn't it has decent longevity but it's not going to be a fragrance that is going to announce you before you get there definitely like I said it's a very cozy fragrance in this bottle I just have to let me just as I show you the bottle tell you a little bit about the notes on the top notes it opens up with saffron lemon and bergamot and then on the middle notes we got myrrh ylang ylang on the base notes we have vanilla sandalwood benzoin and amber very very gorgeous i absolutely love this detail over here it is so i don't know it reminds me like a i don't know, like a very middle eastern style i just i absolutely love and this amber there's like a gradient i don't know if you can see it here from lighter to dark absolutely love it but again a great great fragrance if you want something that is cozy ambery great for the office this is non-offensive you can wear this anywhere great great for this time of the year and i absolutely love it once again this is set up by the house of moresque up next we have another fragrance that i did also briefly mention on my channel but i did not give it a proper description you know letting you guys look a little bit more in depth into this fragrance and this is blue heart by the house of tamine this is supposed to be an amber fragrance but this is not what comes across to me this is gorgeous 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 this is kind of like a fruity this is one of the hardest fragrance to describe I absolutely love it oh my god it is so so good so this fragrance reminds me a little bit to overdose by the house of surge off mm. there is I don't know how to explain it there's a little bit of a spiciness, there's a vanilla, there's coconut in it, but there's this freshness about this fragrance. It opens up and it's just like light and fresh, but at the same time sweet. It's super well blended. It's definitely really hard to know what this fragrance smells like. You just know that you smell sweet, you smell inviting, you smell light, you smell upscale, very upscale. Like this fragrance says, I so sad that this only comes in such a small um i believe this is a 50 ml is this a 50 ml yeah this is a 50 ml and this is just too <laughs> way too small because this is that fragrance that you want to like doze yourself over it this has a note of cypress oil and i think that's what's giving it like this freshness and in overdose achento overdose i believe it has there's a note of eucalyptus that is giving the fragrance a little bit that same kind of like freshness with the fruitiness and that's exactly what's coming across in this fragrance as well it has tonka bean it has saffron and coconut but let me just show you as I tell you exactly what the notes look like. It has a beautiful magnetic cap. I absolutely love that. I mean, me and magnetic caps, look how gorgeous. I'm noticing a lot of fragrances are coming out with deep blue bottles. I don't know if that is a color that is going to be pretty in. So on the top notes, we have saffron, coconut. On the middle notes, we have orris, vanilla, and tonka bean. On the base notes, we have cypress oil, and amber and white musk definitely a little bit musky you can see it's a super 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 fine mist super fine mist oh my god this room is gonna smell <laughs> like all kinds of goodness by the time i'm done with this video oh my god it's so so beautiful very inviting very upscale and so well blended this is smooth 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 I would tend to say that it's even smoother than a Chanta Overdose. That's how smooth it is. So if you like that fragrance and you love just everything about it, you're going to absolutely love this house and mainly Blue Heart. But I do, uh, I did have an opportunity to test a few other samples from this house and there's a few others that I feel that are going to be definitely part of the collections because they are amazing. Again, one of the things that I really, really don't like is the fact that the bottles are so small because these are the type of fragrances that you want to appreciate for a long long time absolutely love it 
I think is going to be great for the springtime. I think is going to work a little bit better on the springtime or if where you're at, like here in Florida, the winter is not really that harsh. The cooler days are not necessarily below zero. I don't think this fragrance can do really well in the below zero, you know, temperatures. This is definitely for a little bit warmer weather or, you know, in the 50s, 60s, you can definitely wear this fragrance and above. Once again, Blue Heart by the House of Tamim. The next fragrance is the newest fragrance in my collection. I got it just a couple of days ago and I am absolutely obsessed. This was also sent to me by the House of Soradora and is Mandorle or Mandorle. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but oh my god, I'm obsessed. I have seen other YouTubers talk about this fragrance and I was like, ah, you know, I don't know. I've never heard about this house. I don't think it's going to be that great, whatever. I didn't really pay attention. And then they approached me and said, would you like to try it? You know, a lot of people are really enjoying it. And I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. As soon as I obviously got the package and I sprayed this fragrance, I was like in shock, like literally in shock. Oh my God. Oh my God. They were not under, you know, hyping this fragrance this is all the hype this is so so good i don't have anything like this in my collection and although it doesn't have any note of cherry this smells like cherry to me like those almondy syrupy almost cherry scent uh oh my god but so so smooth and with such a like a good background of like suede very very sexy this is such a sexy sweet exciting fragrance to me oh my god i could eat this i could drink this this is so so good it smells like i remember like my first love for fragrance started obviously when i was a little kid and i either had like a chapstick or a lip gloss that smelled like super cherry tart like i don't know let me know in the comments below if you know what i'm talking about like we would get those little chapsticks that smell like extreme fake like today we know that's what it is but when you're a child you don't know you all you think is like oh my god it stays like it smells like strawberry and cherry and you just want to smell it all day long this is a little bit in that realm but now kick it up like twenty thousand notches super refined super upscaled like oh my god gorgeous 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 and let's take a look at this bottle as and as i'm telling you a little bit about the notes this is just gorgeous i absolutely love the marble looking cap obviously let's do a little test yes we can hold it by the bottle i mean we can hold it by the cap it's not it's not a magnetic cap but it's a very 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 tight cap so you can definitely trust that your fragrance is not going to fall. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's a gradient of like a teal dark blue to like light. Let me see if I can't. No, I can't. There's no way to make it show. Maybe like that. So the notes on this fragrance are suede, tonka bean, rum, heliotrope, cashmere wood, vanilla, caramel, cacao, woodsy notes and white musk so no cherry no almond but it smells like it has a little bit of almondy cherry vibe and the tonka bean and the rum and it's just all of those notes you can smell them but so smooth in the background like you have that cherry ish hint in all of those other notes that i just mentioned in the background just like dancing so so amazing i love how sweet it is i think that it leans a little bit more feminine but i wouldn't doubt that this on a man would be interpreted like really really well and sexy and nice this is more i feel i feel that for a man this would be more of a dressy fragrance and i think for a woman is a little bit more casual to dressy where women just because women tend to go to different places a little bit more dressed up typically than guys Again, it depends on the guy. I know there are some guys that, you know, they, they, they take a lot of pride on looking good at all times. But I feel that for a woman, there's a little bit more versatility than for a man. 
Oh my God, this fragrance is amazing, amazing, amazing. I think I'm going to have a coupon code for you guys on the notes. I don't know at this point. I don't remember exactly what it is. So if you are interested, definitely take advantage of that coupon code. This is a 50 ml, but the longevity is really good. The projection is, I would say, okay. It's not like... 20 minutes before you get there it announces you but definitely it lasts a long time I think on my skin it lasted a good eight hours and that to me was you know enough for a fragrance of this type of fragrance to last I tested I'm testing a lot of these fragrances lately as I'm going to work and it's not necessarily a place that you would want to wear these type of fragrances but you know it's the only place that I go for that long period of time I really want to know once I'm talking to you guys how long it lasted and if I put it on like around eight in the morning I know that three four o'clock in the afternoon I'm still smelling it it's still going strong and then starts obviously becoming a skin scent but this fragrance is everything they also send me a discovery set so I am going to do a house complete discovery I want to know what else from the house is good because if this is this good and they have more then I want it. <laughs> Once again, Mandorle or Mardorle. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it by the House of Soradora. Up next is a fragrance that I wanted to have in my collection for the longest time. And this is my birthday gift from me to me. <laughs> my birthday was only three weeks ago, so I got it. I ordered it. And then by the time I got it, it was probably like a week and a half ago. And I am so, so happy that I have it in my collection because I've been wanting it for the longest, longest time. And this is Nomad by Bond number no. nine. This is my second Bond, my second star in my collection. And I wanted this fragrance for the longest time guys this it's a beautiful fruity it's not necessarily a wintry fragrance unless because it's more like a going out fragrance and uh, I just oh my god this is so 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 good it's a fruity rose oud composition that is just sexy 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 it's a little bit aquatic, it has a vanilla, but you also, again, the fruity and the rose and the oud is definitely what's more at the forefront in this fragrance. I feel that this fragrance is definitely unisex, but it's almost like it transforms because I remember like when I smell it from the blotter, I feel like it smells more masculine. But then when I put it on, it smells more fruity and feminine and I can definitely wear it and feel super sexy. I absolutely love these bottles. I know that there are some with rhinestones, which I may or may not DIY myself because I absolutely love the style. I love the color. Again, like I said, a lot of fragrances are coming out with blue bottles. We had Blue Heart and now, you know, we have this one. There's a couple of others that I have in my collection. Oh, this is just so, so good. Let me just show you a little bit if you've never seen it. This is one of, not the latest release, but the one before that. Obviously, you can hold it by the top. And on the notes, we have Quince, Black Current, Pear. Middle notes, we have Rose, Oud, Oris, Violet. And then on the base notes, we have Amber, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. It is a beautiful, beautiful. Let's take a look at the atomizer. Just wear it out. It's a little projecting. Oh, so, so good. This is definitely, again, like I said, this is more like a going out fragrance. It's not, it's a dressy fragrance. I don't feel that I would wear this fragrance necessarily to either go to work or for cozy nights or anything like that. Like this is a fun, fruity oud. It's when oud is present, you know that that's not a hanging around and, you know, Netflix and chill type of fragrance unless... You're looking to, you know, be a little bit more seductive, but this is definitely a little bit more dressy in my opinion. For me, it would be the type of fragrance that I would reach out for when I'm going out with friends and I'm all dolled up and it's time to just feel, you know, and smell as good as I feel. I absolutely love it. And as soon as I saw that it opened up with Quince and you know how much I love Quince, my passesoir that has Quince, I need to add more, no, more fragrances on my, in my collection with Quince. I love that fruit and it had pear and it had black currant. Oh my God, that was a no brainer. Absolutely love it. It is so, so good. It's 100% unisex. I feel that a man can pull this off and a woman can pull this off. And although it has rose and oud, it's not a la oud bouquet. It's not oud satin mood. It's, it could be like a distance 
cousin relative type deal but not necessarily in that realm the fruit notes in here definitely keep it on a league of its own it's this its own fragrance it's not necessarily a dupe of anything but you do know that you are wearing something that has a little bit of rose and oud for sure i absolutely love it i'm so happy to have it in my collection once again nomad by bond number no. nine and this was some of the latest fragrances that i've added to my collection i have more coming my way there's a little bit more that i've ordered i was supposed to be on a no buy in january i don't know what happened have you seen the amount of fragrances that are launching it's just kind of hard to stop it feels like sometimes we have a all bad fragrances that are being launched versus like now there's so many exciting launches that are happening. Anyways, if you liked any of these fragrances, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out and become a part of the Scented Tribe. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Until the next time, big kiss. Bye-bye.